Hey guys, Shirtless Curtis here. Just wanted to let you know that YouTube has been on a blockathon again, blocking our videos. So if you enjoy the anime reactions, the reactions to the TV shows, cartoons, all that stuff, please just check out the Goosh, our Patreon. Got tons and tons of full reactions over there and we really have a good time. If you got a second, check it out for me. Okay, guys, I think this will be fun. You guys know I've been a cartoon fan my whole life. Big fan of the cartoons from the 90s, the early 2000s. I know a lot of you guys are too. So I saw this vid online. It's um, from a channel called Bustle. And it's the adult jokes you missed from your favorite 90s cartoons breakdowns. I Again, one of the great things about those cartoons was the way that they could be entertaining for a kid and yet tell jokes that would fly over their heads and... and well, sometimes fly over my head too, but that's not that difficult an accomplishment. The 1990s are viewed by many as a magical decade. From overpriced stuffed animals, to <laughs> brightly yes. colored trapper keepers, to something trapper called keeper. a pop. 90s nostalgia can be triggered pops. by a number of things. However, when it comes to stirring up warm and fuzzy feelings, nothing compares to the decade's various cartoons. Could the not shows agree that more. ran during this era helped define yep. our generation. It turns yep. out that many of these children's shows weren't as innocent as we were led to believe. Huh. Many Ren, of your favorite Ren and Stimpy weren't innocent? No shit. <laughs> the cartoons contained a number of jokes that may have gone over your head as a child, but are all too obvious now that you're an adult. In the 90s, no, sir, I was in my 30s. For rubber nipples. I'll tell you what, though. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Looking back, you'd be surprised Yikes. to see what managed the hell was to that one? The television. For example, take Rugrats, which follows a group of babies in their I various like adventures. While they may be innocent, the show itself is far from wholesome. Mm -hmm. Such as this scene featuring Grandpa Lou's favorite type of movie. I haven't seen this in Lonely ages. Lonely Space Vixens. Uh, uh, that's for after you go to bed. Animaniacs was another cartoon that made a name for itself thanks in part to its more mature sense of humor. Well, he could have shown it to the kids and, you know, just helped them mature quicker. <laughs> but one joke in particular good stands out. Video, one sister, only space dust for Prince. I found Prince! No, 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 fingerprints. Bet you didn't put your finger on that one growing <laughs> up. Well, I'd forgotten about that one. We'd seen that. I never saw that when it aired, but we had done another compilation like this. That one's, that one's legendary. Dust That's quality Prince. right there. I found Prince. No, no, no. Fingerprints. <laughs> you didn't put your finger on that one growing up. <laughs> While Hey Arnold may not have been as overt in its oh, humor, football head. it contained a fair amount of jokes that most children like would understand. Too. Such as Ernie's workout lesson. Yep. Reach, pull, reach, pull. <laughs> Good boy. Do that every day, and when the big moment comes, you'll be ready. <laughs> or how about Grandpa <laughs> you will. reference? Reach, You're not pull. Too old, Grandpa, and you still got plenty of brain cells. No, not since what that. <laughs> not to mention, Grandpa Phil's head is also completely shaped like a penis. Yeah, that's normal. Oh. Bob Squarepants ah. follows the daily lives of a sea sponge and his friends in that? the underwater town of Bikini Bottom. I've heard of this show. Really? Bikini Bottom? <laughs> yeah, that's appropriate. <laughs> well, the time SpongeBob got oh, caught stop. watching some inappropriate late night TV. That's hot. Gary! <laughs> I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. <laughs> oh, you dirty little sprite. I remember that one. <laughs> I will say this. I remember seeing that and thinking the same thing. It's like, whoa, okay. It's a kid's show. <laughs> or how about the time you pretty much called his teacher the C word? See you next Tuesday. Touche, SpongeBob. Touche. See you but next the Tuesday. The undisputed champion of ah! British was undoubtedly Rocco's Modern Life. The show's creator, Joe Murray, has said that the goal was always to see Good what show. they could sneak past the censors. And it turned out to be a lot. From a local hangout called the Chokey Chicken. <laughs> That's a quality a name right there. I would go eat at the oh, baby, Chokey oh, Chicken. Baby, oh, baby. Mrs. And how could we look past the most disturbing dinner scene of all time? Dinner is prepared. I hope you're not letting the beaver eat off the good china. Otherwise, we'll have to smash the plates. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> yep, that happened. Oh. Your childhood wasn't so innocent after all. And that's everything you wish you never knew about your favorite that childhood was a, cartoon. That was a pretty good collection. 
I, I enjoyed that. That was, that was a good collection. We'll, we'll have to see if we can find more of those. I like that stuff. Um, because again, I enjoyed those cartoons a lot. And these, and I know there's more of them out there. These videos that point out exactly when they were going a little, uh, a little to the adult blue side are a lot of fun. <laughs>